Hello and welcome to Revit Advanced Tutorials. Today we're going to draw a basic family table, a table with four legs. And the first thing we need to do, we click on New and we choose a new family template. And for this very basic family, we are going to choose a simple template. We're going to choose the generic model template, metric generic model RFT. And what we see is we have already two reference planes, one on the y and one on the x axis. Uh, the first thing we need to do, we click on reference plane and we draw two new reference planes, one on the y axis, as you see, and one on the x axis. This is going to be the uh, the shape for our table desk. Then we click on annotate and we choose the align dimension tool. We dimension the two reference planes, the two vertical reference planes, and we dimension the two horizontal reference planes. And now we add a parameter. So we click on the dimension and then under label we click on add parameter. And we just give it a name, let's say desk uh, table with and we make sure it is a type parameter. We hit OK and we hit the lock button. Now we choose the second dimension and again under label add parameter and give it a name table length and we make sure it is a type parameter. So now we're going to test these two parameters. So we click on family types and we see we have under dimensions our table width and our table length. So now we just enter a new value, let's say 2 meters and we hit apply. And we see it's working. Same thing for the length, 2 meters and it's working. Okay, great. Now we just change it to 1 meters, hit apply and OK. So now we're going to start to draw our geometry. So under Home we click on Extrusion. And now there are several, several um, possibilities to draw geometry. The first is you just draw the line or the rectangle on top of your reference planes. And then you click, uh, you hit the lock button. Usually I don't use this option because it's very easy to forget to hit the lock button. And okay, we erase it again and I'll show you the second option. It's the the second one is um, the based line. So you just click on the reference plane and make sure the lock button is on. And but you see afterwards you need to trim your corners. This is a very good option if your geometry is very simple like just a rectangle. But um, most times I use the line or the rectangle tool and I just draw the geometry very close to the reference planes and then under modify I use the aligned tool. So I click on the reference plane and then on the geometry line and never forget to hit the lock button okay now we enter an extrusion value for the thickness of the table desk let's say we enter 10 centimeters and hit apply and okay and we change to our 3D view and we can see our ready model desk. Now we go to the elevation view and we see our desk is on reference level 0. So what we're gonna do under home we're gonna draw a new reference plane a little bit above the reference level 0. We click on the reference plane and give it a new name. So we enter let's say table table height OK, and we click on the Apply button. So we see now there is written table height above our new reference plane. Now we're going to dimension this new reference plane with our reference level 0. So again, under Annotate, 
use the align dimension tool and give it a new parameter click on as parameter and call it let's say height and we make sure it's a type parameter we hit the lock button and we're going to test this new parameter and we enter a value like 90 centimeters click on apply and we see it is working okay now we're going to change the work plane of our desk we click on edit work plane and we change its name to table height which is the reference plane we just set okay now we go back to our reference level and we add new reference plane for our legs click on reference plane and now we use the second option it's the line based option where we enter an offset value we choose 10 centimeters and then we just click on our reference plane to create new reference planes okay now we're going to dimension all the reference planes where we want to have our legs so it's gonna be four new dimensions and we're going to add a new parameter so we click on our dimension and under label click on add parameter give it a name legs with and it's a type parameter and we hit OK and we hit the lock button and now we just copy the same parameter to each dimension so then we just click on the dimension and we just click on the already set parameter and then you see that the lock button is already closed if you use this method if you want more parameters for your legs let's say for width and length then you just click on the new dimension and add a new parameter okay we test the legs enter 20 centimeters and you see that it, it's working as it's supposed to be okay now we're ready to draw our geometry we use the extrusion tool and we use the baseline tool so we make sure the lock is on and we just click on the reference planes and in the end we just trim the corners with our trim tool okay we do the same thing with our second leg we click on the reference plane and we see it is not working and that's because on top of this reference plane there is already a geometry line so we just use the simple rectangle tool and we align our geometry lines to our reference planes as before so we just click on the reference plane on the geometry line and we hit the lock button we do the same thing with our third leg we use we draw the rectangle use the align tool align the line to the reference plane and we hit the lock button and again with our last leg okay so when we are ready okay we hit the OK button our extrusion and uh, extrusion is 10 centimeters this uh, we see here but that's very easy we just go to an elevation view and align our legs to our reference plane to our height reference plane and we hit the lock button and our legs are adjusted to our desk okay so now we just enter some new family types let's say we make a table um, I would say 80 by 80 centimeters so a small a small table okay hit okay and we change our parameters to the width to 80 and the length to 80 okay so parameters are working so let's enter a new type and let's say an 80 by 140 so regular desk measures drawing desk measures hit OK and we change our parameters to these 
length table length to 140 hit apply and a third type let's make a bigger table a 1 by 2 meters like a conference table meeting table okay so now we just save our file we save our family let's put it under furniture and we give it a name M which is for metric and a M basic table click on save and we load the table into our project okay we go to our level 1 and we place our new table so we click on component and now we just place our first table we place our second table 1 by 2 meters and our third table 1 by 3 meters go on in the 3D view and we see our tables and everything looks as it's supposed to be so now we change to our shaded view and we see that the materials are still not set but uh, how to set materials I will show you in another tutorial in the next tutorial family basic family window okay if you want to change the parameters of the table inside your project you just click on edit type and on duplicate then you choose a name let's make a table that is 1 by 3 meters and we change few parameters let's change the width to 15 centimeters and also the height uh, we click on apply now we place our new table type and we can see that all our parameters are working to sum up this tutorial whenever you start to create a new family you need to choose a correct template file so when you want to create a window you should choose a window template file or when you want to create a simple table like we did before then you might also choose just a generic template file and there are many more and then you don't start with drawing the geometry you should always start with drawing reference planes uh, that's just the way Revit is created and Revit works and it just keeps your drawing clean and simple next you dimension these reference planes and if later on you want to change several of these dimensions you should always add parameters using parameters just speeds up your workflow in Revit and after you edit your parameters you should always test them it's a lot easier to um, find mistakes when your drawing is still clean and simple after you tested all parameters and you edit all parameters you can start to draw your geometry and for example you can use a solid extrusion or you can use a sweep and then you align your geometry to your reference planes and never forget to lock. Okay, thanks for watching Revit Advanced Tutorials and hope to see you next time.